Hello everyone and welcome back to Coombe Valley Campers. Today we are going to show you how to put an awning rail on your camper van. Before we make a start today, I'd just like to remind everybody that over at coombevalleycampers.com we have completely changed our website and we've now got a products page where you can buy pretty much everything you can see in the video today. The awning rail we're going to be using today will actually list down in the description below and you can find out where to buy that as well. When it comes down to awning rails, you have lots of different options to choose. You can either have awning rails that attach permanently to your vehicle, you can have some that are hidden or some that are exposed. The one we have chosen to use today is from Vamoose and it is a awning rail that's really nicely shaped, fits with the contours of the van and is actually designed to be a gutter for the rain that comes off the roof of the van and also as a C-channel to thread your awning through. The kit that we've got here in front of us is fully complete and they retail from anywhere between about 150 and 190 pounds. Um, you can buy them from all different places online and we will leave, leave a description. We will leave a link in the description for the awning rail that we have chosen today. Um, in the kit, you have the awning rail itself. You have a flexible front part of the awning rail that fits just above the door, but we'll go into that later. You have an end cap, which fits at the rear of the van. You have the fixing screws, and you also get some alcoholic wipes in the kit uh, to be able to clean the surfaces of not only the awning rail, but the side of the van where you're gonna put your sealant. The tools we are going to use today are a drill with a three millimeter drill bit, an electric screwdriver or drill driver, and that has got a Phillips style drill bit in the end. We've got just a regular Phillips screwdriver, a Stanley blade, some masking tape, a pencil and or Sharpie you can use uh, to mark your measurements, a tape measure, and polyurethane based adhesive, some super glue, and to clean up any mess we make later, we've got some panel wipe or brake cleaner and some blue roll. So let's get on to fitting it. The awning rail you're going to be fitting is just over two and a half meters in length. So the last thing we advise you use is a set of sturdy steps or a ladder and a glorious assistant. The Vamoose awning rail we have chosen today is actually able to fit a T4, a T5 and a T6 fan. And what we're going to try and do is incorporate all of those measurements and fitting guides into the video today. The first thing you have to do is take a measurement from a point on the van on a T4. You take your first measurement from this join here between the door and the panel. On a T5 slash T6, you take it from this join here. So it's, a, it's about the same thing. Um, the first measurement we are gonna take is 430 mils, give or take three millimeters from this point here. The next measurement we are gonna take is from this ridge here, just above the sliding door. Now we have to measure five millimeters above this point here. So I'm gonna go ahead, put a bit of tape on, measure five millimeter from here, and we'll do the same back here. And then we're going to lay on the awning rail and we're gonna make some more measurements, just as reference points for when we come to actually make holes in the side of the van later. So once you have your glorious assistant helping you, um, we're gonna offer up the awning rail, taking both measurements into account. So the first is this 430 mil uh, measurement right here, and we're just gonna bring the awning rail up to this point. We're gonna take into account our five millimeter measurement just down here, and at the back of the van, or back of the sliding door, sorry. Then we are going to use the silver screws provided and our drill driver, and we're going to drill the first screw directly into the vehicle at this point now. Once that screw is in, we will then 
fit screws into the awning rail along the side of the van, forming the awning rail to the contours of the van. The, the aluminium awning rail is fairly malleable anyway, so we can sort of form it as we go. Um, so we're gonna screw in the middle, work our way down towards the front of the van first. We are going to leave the last three, and then we're gonna work towards the rear of the van, screw, screwing all the way into the end of the van, but again, leaving the last three. So, now we've got the first screw in. I've done away with my glorious assistant, but you'll see him later, don't worry about that. Uh, next stage is we're now gonna put the silver screws into these remaining two holes here, making sure to keep our five mil measurement, and then we're gonna start working back towards the rear of the van. Now all the silver screws are in, we've got to mark the front three and the rear three before we take the awning off, prepare the area and screw it all home. There are a few ways you can mark it, be it pencil, sharpie or by drill bit. And we're going to use this drill bit, it's bigger than the three um, that we're going to be using to drill the holes later, but it does fit perfectly in the hole in the awning rail. And what we're going to do is pop that in the drill, mark Sorry, place the awning in the position we want and then just very lightly turn the drill in the hole and the tip of that will just mark the paintwork very accurately as to where we want to drill later. Now all the holes are drilled and the remaining holes are marked, we're just gonna remove the awning rail now, then we're gonna clean up the area and apply the adhesive sealant that we spoke about earlier. I just wanted to point out to you where we drilled the marks. We didn't drill the holes, but we just drilled, used the drill to mark where we want to make a hole and it's just made a very, very small indentation in the paint. Rather than just having a pencil line like this, it's actually made the spot perfect for where we need to drill now. Now the holes have been drilled, we want to make sure to clean the area really, really well. All the little metal filings and swarf that's come out of these holes, you want to just clear off the van completely. If they're left there and you get moisture on them, then they will rust and either stick to the paint or damage the paintwork, and it's very, very difficult to get that back to normal. Um, once all that's done, once we've blown the van down with some pressurized air, we're going to use the alcohol wipes, not the alcoholic wipes that I said earlier, so sorry about that. Um, clean that area all down, then we're going to use the adhesive sealant that we spoke about earlier and then we can actually bond and screw that awning rail into place. As a bit of a safety point, when you're using your alcohol wipes over the holes that you've drilled, just be careful if there's any sharp bits of metal sticking up because uh, we don't want you hurting your pinkies now. To seal the holes and actually bond the awning rail to the van, we're gonna be using Tiger Seal in this instance. Now it's an adhesive and sealant, it's polyurethane, so it remains flexible, UV resistant as well, um, and it is pretty much the best thing you're gonna find to actually bond this to the vehicle. Um, we need to run a bead of this sealant down the center of the awning, and we're going to make a bead approximately eight millimeters in diameter, about the thickness of a pencil, basically. Now, when you get your tuber sealant, you will have one of these new uh, ends. They're tapered to a point. What we tend to do is use a knife 
and actually slice the end off to about 45 degree angle and then the bead of sealant will come out nice and evenly and to the desired width you need it to, to be honest with you. Um, and yeah, we'll do a little tester on here to see the sort of diameter and if we need to enlarge that, we'll just use the blade to just trim it further back up the tip. We've put the bead of sealant on the awning rail. We're now gonna put just a little dab of sealant on every hole that we've made, and that will not only seal the hole, but make it waterproof as well. So instead of having to prime it and paint it, um, each individual hole, we're just gonna put the blob of sealant in there, and that will seal everything cut nicely. This is where having an assistant pays off because this is the precarious bit. Um, we're literally just gonna lay the awning rail onto the side of the van now and start attaching with the screws that are in that pot and fix them down with the screwdriver. Right, I've not put that screw all the way in. That's not tight, it's just holding it up in place. So the awning rail is now up. The screws are in, but they're not tight. I didn't want to tighten them all down and it's, it's good practice to not tighten everything down until you're absolutely happy with the fit. Now we are happy with the fit. I'm gonna go around all the screws again I'm gonna use just a manual screwdriver as opposed to an electric screwdriver, just so you can feel the tension on the screw as you're putting it into the metalwork. At the front of the awning rail, we wanna put an end cap on, and they've provided you this rubber piece in the kit with a self-adhesive strip on the back. Now, what is suggested is that you offer this piece up to the awning rail, and then just lay out where you want that to sit because you have one chance and one chance only to stick this down once it's stuck, that's your final shape. So, if you were to offer that up to the van in a shape you're happy with, I quite like the fact that it's gonna taper down in the line of the A pillar here. Um, and then mark with a pencil as to where you want that to sit. So there's a reference point when you come to peel and stick it. So I'm happy with that position there. And I can see the line very faintly, but enough for me to see it. I'm gonna peel the sticky bit off. This area we cleaned up earlier as well. So I'm gonna put the rubber piece in here, making sure that this join is closed up. So that is down there and stuck. And then I'm just gonna put pressure all the way to the end, but making sure the tip is in the pencil line that we'd already made. So apply a bit of pressure down. And there we go, I'm pretty happy with that. It actually fits the contour really, really nicely of the van and it matches up with the awning rail just there. What is suggested on the fitting instructions is that you can use a little dab of super glue just to keep this section and the end cap, which we're gonna discuss in a minute, just in the right profile as the awning rail. Now we fitted this on nicely, and although to the eye, this seems to fit nice, I just want to peel that rubber back a little bit just so it fits the profile of the aluminium awning rail exactly. So what I'm gonna do is just dab a tiny little bit of super glue And that part there and then just hold it until that sets to a point. The last part of the awning rail to do is this end cap here. Now this is 
solid plastic as opposed to the rubber piece at the front and um, it's just going to be bonded in there's no screw holes or anything for it to fit into and it's got to be secure because it's at this point that you slide your awning rail in um, so that has to be set there quite nicely to that end we're going to put uh, a bead of sealant right on this blob and because from what I've learned from the fitting instructions, this piece fits the contours of a T4 more than it does a T5, T6. Um, it's advised that a bead of sealant is put all the way around just to make it a bit more aesthetically pleasing and um, you get full sealant all the way around. So what we're gonna do is pop that piece into place. I'm going to mask off around that area and then when I've got the bond in, I can smooth that area off on top of the masking tape. Once the masking tape is peeled off, it should leave a really nice line all the way around. We've done the sealant on that end cap and I've probably left the tape on there probably a minute too long because it actually started to skin over. Um, but what we can do, and this is a good tip for anybody out there who makes a mess with the uh, sealant, is again, use a bit of pan and wipe or brake clean and a bit of blue roll or cloth, rag, whatever you have. I'm gonna spray a bit on the cloth, not on the car, and then just very, very gently just remove any excess and that goes for the whole thing. If you've found that any sealant has bled out, um, then yeah, you can just use a bit of pan of wipe or brake clean to um, just remove the last of the sealant. It's a bit tedious, but to get the desired effect, it's worth spending another couple of minutes just cleaning up. And there we have it. We have finished the installation of this awning rail on the T6. Now, as said before, there are loads of different variants of awning rail that you can choose from. This one in particular is the exposed type of awning rail. And as far as they go, this is a pretty nice one. It was chosen by the customer, but if you want to buy one yourself, we will leave a link in the description below. Please, if you like this video, take a look at any of these two videos down here where we will show you other elements of building your camper van. And please, if you enjoyed the video, use the link just here to subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed the video and also click on the bell down in the corner and you can get notifications of every time we upload a video for you. Thank you very much.